Hi everyone! Everyone seems super excited for these semi-annual sales that are coming up. There are two coming up um, that I will be partaking in and that is the Bath and Body Works one that starts on June 13th and then the Yankee Candle one which I've heard all different dates but I'm sticking with the 8th. It could be the 6th, could be the 1st, I'm not sure. Um, I went into my store the other day and they didn't mention a thing about it so you know just stay tuned I will be keeping an eye on that but what I wanted to do since um, some of the youtubers that I watch were doing semi-annual sales for Bath and Body Works videos I figured I would do one for Yankee um, and I pulled out some scents that I hope that return for the semi-annual sale I uh, picked up these scents last year during the summer the summer one is I think bigger than the winter semi-annual that's just when they're trying to get rid of their Christmas scents or their holiday scents and um, clearing it out for the new spring scents the summer one is um, really a time where they can put out all different treasure scents and you can buy what you want and that's what they did last year and I'm hoping that it will kind of repeat itself this year and these are ones that I hope make another appearance um, first, before I start, the deals last year were six for sixty-nine dollars, so you could get six jars or tumblers, and most of it was in jars um, because they were treasures, and that they only make them in jars. Um, six for sixty-nine dollars, two for twenty-five, and then one for fifteen dollars. So it was really up to you, and I'm pretty sure they had some tumblers out, but like in, in uh, Country Lemonade and in Cherry Lemonade, they do get rid of some of their spring selection as well because they will be, they will be releasing the fall scents, the new fall scents. Um, I heard after this semi-annual though, in July they will release a dessert line. So if you are a bakery lover, then that might be something that you may want to look into. Now, and I know there's a lot of controversy going on with um, the smooth wax and the marble wax and uh, the price increase and all of that. Um, I'm just trying to stay hopeful. Um, I received a 20 off a of 45 purchase, which is perfectly fine for me. Um, not that that makes up for a price increase, but you know I can spend 45 dollars on things that I want, accessories, wick trimmers, and things like that. So you know, just you know, I'm trying to stay positive with it. And, you know, for a sale, you can't beat that. And even if it's 6 for, you know, $72, I'd be all right with it. All right. When they did it last year, it ended up being, I think, 11 or 11.50 per jar. You want to try to get the best deal. So don't keep going in and buying one jar at $15. If you need a couple, then you go ahead and buy the, you know, 2 for 25 I get the 6 for 69 last year a lot because I could get things for presents um, think of you know future birthdays holidays coming up grab what you want and then get some for those as well that way you have it you're prepared all right so the first scent that I'm going to talk to you about is starfruit and orange and it is in the fruit category and you know I love citrus this smells like you've cut straight into an orange but it does have a little bit of a sweeter note to it from that star fruit um, it wasn't very strong when I burned my first jar I bought three of these but as I got through it it started to um, show its true colors and it's pretty oily I can see the oil moving around in the jar I don't know if you can see it up in here and so when I move it 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 starts to fill up over there so it's got a lot to give but I'm hoping it will return because I really enjoyed that scent raspberry cream is another one I hope will come back and the reason why I like this one I mean it is it's very tart um, it's, it's definitely a raspberry scent but I actually like melting this one with the oh so famous but always tunnels jelly donut something about it just it kind of helps jelly donut smell a little sweeter like you've actually ripped open the donut you get a little bit of a sweet note with jelly donut but it's not like 
you know, wow, that's really sweet. It's definitely a jelly donut. So I, I like to actually melt those together. Jelly donut. And you, if you watched one of my previous videos, I actually bought a jelly donut at TJ Maxx. So, you know, that might be worth checking out too. Um, I do enjoy jelly, jelly donut. It is a different type of scent. So you definitely would want to smell this one before you buy it. And I have seen that one in my treasure cabinet at my store, but it's not always there. So if I can find it, I will definitely grab it. This one is probably one of my all-time favorite scents. This is shortbread cookie. It's just a really different kind of cookie scent. You definitely get that rich shortbread scent, but then there's something sweet. It's like lightly sweetened. So I definitely like this one. It's not too overpowering. It's not too strong, but it, it does have a strong throw. Um, I bought a different scent last year. Um, it was chocolate chip cookie and it was really strong. Um, my husband is a chocoholic, but he had to blow it out. He said it was just too much. Like I was trying to leave it and let it get a wax pool, so I went shopping, and when it came back, it was gone. I mean, it was blown out, and he was saying that it was just too much for him. So, you know, um, some cookie scents can be overbearing. Midnight Oasis, this one came back, so I'm gonna guess it's leaving this semi-annual sale very mandel quality fragrance it's definitely something that i would have going on one of those hot summer nights and i um it's just it's a really cologne type scent but it does remind me of like an evening just like the picture with the palm trees and it's like purplish pink outside Definitely an, a calming, relaxing, summery type scent. It's not like coconut or anything like that, but it's, I don't know, it's just, it's a different scent. Cherry Lemonade. This came back for the summer or spring, um, and I gave it another shot just because this was not my favorite. My tart must have been bad because it smelled like flowers when I melted it. This one doesn't smell like that, and I just got this for $5 the other day. And, and you can see it's actually burning quite well. Um, and it's a great scent. It definitely has that tangy tart um, note, like the country lemonade. But you get a little bit of, like a cherry. Very, very faint cherry note. And this is my favorite one, country lemonade. It smells so good. I am hoping that this one comes back. Even if it's just a couple of jars that I see sitting around, I would love to snag it because it's my favorite. I probably have like four or five jars. I need at least ten. Then I would feel comfortable enough to start burning them. And I have burned through a couple of them. It's just a really nice summertime scent. It reminds me of like hanging out and having a cup of lemonade, a cup of lemonade, a glass of lemonade, ice cold, freshly made. It's so good. All right, carrot cake. Here's another one. You can see the oils are built up at the top in that one too. This is a really nice carrot cake scent. You definitely get that that spice, almost like a nut um, kind of scent in it. I know there's are there nuts in carrot cake. I think there are nuts in like um, pieces of carrot and raisins. I guess but that's what it smells like. And then you get a little bit of that frosting. It's just altogether a great fragrance. And I would love to get another one of these so I can melt it for the fall. I mean, you really could uh, burn that or melt that any time of year. But fall is when those spicy scents really just, they appeal to me. Water Garden. Now, last year, I went into my store and one of the ladies was um, stocking the shelf with a whole box that she got from that was in water garden and as soon as I grabbed two of them one of the other ladies that works there went and took them all off the shelf and said that she's buying all of those so I thought that was kind of ridiculous that they would have first call on what they want I understand they work there but you know 
give a consumer a chance. And I don't even know if they got another box in or not. I think they didn't. So if I see this, I might want to just buy it online instead of in the store. And that is one thing. You need to check both online and in the store. If you have um, no way to get to a store, then you need to find somebody who can for you that wouldn't mind going and seeing if there's something different or make one um, trip, you know, if it's under 50 miles or something. You don't want to go crazy. But you really want to just kind of check around and see what scents they have. Um, it varies. Um, I would see Water Garden for two seconds online and it would be sold out. So you definitely want to check in both if you can. Now Water Garden, if you've never tried this scent, it's in the fresh category. It is a very light, floral, um, watery scent. I love this. This is a great scent. This is something you could burn year round too. I definitely like to do it in like the spring, summer because we get all the rain. That one and Stormwatch are my rain favor favorites. Juicy Grapefruit. I love this one. It's a very nice kitchen scent. You get that really tart scent from the um, grapefruit. You, you almost want to put like some sugar on it just to kind of ease it out a little bit. But it smells like grapefruit juice. Mm, like natural grapefruit juice. It smells really good. Um... I'm hoping that this one will come back just because when we cook stuff in the kitchen and it's really stinky, this is kind of one of those nice scents that cuts through. Like my husband loves to make onions, which stink. And that one kind of helps air it out. Citrus scents to me are very helpful. All right, next is Good Morning. And you can see the oils in my Good Morning. Oh, it's crying. Don't cry for me. Good Morning is very bright. You would think with these muffins on the front, you're like, oh yeah, it's going to be a muffin scent. Awesome. No. And just because it's got the picture, it might make you think like, yes, it does smell like bakery. But I don't really get that. Like I could see this being like a topping, like that crumbly stuff on the top of that muffin because it's sweet. It's kind of got like a sugary thing to it, but it's definitely like a citrusy... Um, I think it's got cardamom in it. It's wonderful. I could burn this all the time. All right, now there are, oh, I have one tart here. Um, I would like to get a jar of peaches and berries. It smells so true to its name. It smells like peaches and berries. Now, some of these things will show up. I'm hoping. These are 10 ounce tumblers and they're what I call a special pour. Um, the three wick tumblers um, I call a special pour as well. They're the ones that are really wide. Um, I like buying those towards the end of the sale. If you find something you like you need to just go ahead and buy it unless you know for sure it's not a very popular scent. Um, often those three wick candles are not purchased until the very end and they will drop down their prices so you need to check like every week to see if there's something that you want and you think you can hold off then you need to do so otherwise buy it I did that with candy apple and it somebody else grabbed it and it was in the three wick so I was kinda sad that I couldn't get it but anyway so I love these these were I think I got this for eight dollars for a ten ounce tumbler which is Fabulous, and this is really a good size for Stormwatch because I do live where it rains all the time. I mean, we have hurricanes, and instead of being worried about the storms and stuff because they can get a little hectic, I um, I simply just say, you know what? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! I get to burn Stormwatch, and I will have it going. So even if the power goes out or anything like that, I can enjoy a nice fragrance in my um, in my master bedroom. It smells really nice. And this I kind of had to warm up to. It wasn't something that I was like, wow, that smells really good. I have kind of trained myself to associate storms with Stormwatch. And so it's just kind of habit forming now. Aluma lids will probably be on sale. They'll probably be getting rid of some of their summer sets. Um, I already noticed that the Citrus Passion line has gone on sale. 
get the jar sleeve. That is the best device ever to help warm your candle. I purchased one when they were full price at $10. It is the best thing ever. It it really does seal in that heat and gives you a wax pull. Even on your misbehaving candles, it will really help. Sometimes I have to use an Aluma lid and the jar sleeve and it's fine. It straightens out. Um, also, um, their other accessories and all their cutesy stuff will all be on sale. Um, anything that's a summer item or a, or, or a spring item, they have any more Easter items or anything like that, they'll bring it out. One time, I went and they had one, um, what was it? Whatever their Halloween collection is. Oh my goodness, it totally, the Bony Bunch. Woo, I thought I was going to forget what it was called. Um, they had one Bony Bunch bowl out, and I was like, that's really doesn't fit in for summertime. But they had it because nobody bought it. Um, you might find something that was is worth your while, so you definitely need to check in both places. Um, usually hand sanitizers, lip balm, soaps, things like that will all go on sale. I don't even know if they make hand sanitizers anymore. I know they make the... Um, soap still, um, room sprays, car air fresheners, you name it, they're going to be marked down. Now I don't know how it's going to work this year. I haven't heard a single word. I don't know what scents are going to be there. Um, last year somebody leaked and told everybody what the scents were going to be. So I kind of had an idea. I pretty much just copied and pasted it and then I marked next to the ones I just absolutely had to have. So it's best to go in with a game plan. Any treasure that's probably been out more than likely will make an appearance again. I'm hoping that uh, Pineapple Paradise, because that was the only one I couldn't get my hands on in a jar. I hope that one comes out. And I hope I get to see that one. Um, I'm not sure if anything is being discontinued. I haven't heard. But if you go to their Facebook page and ask, people tend to know. They'll let you know, um, you know, what's going on. Um... And I think that is about it. If you have any questions about the semi-annual sale for Yankee, please let me know. Since they haven't really been real generous with their coupons lately, and everybody's been talking about it, they know they haven't been letting them out every two weeks or whatever, um, more than likely you're not going to have an opportunity to use a coupon during the sale. Which, if they're doing like a 6 for 72 or whatever, it's a steal anyway. So really it's, it's a good deal. Um... I guess that's really about it. So, um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to help you out the best I can, and I'll try to, you know, fill you in if there's anything going on that I know about, any lists or anything. I will make sure to give you an updated video. So, anyway, um, that's really it. So, until my next video, take care.